getting ready to move and shake real quick. We back as the boss Clint and Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. We in the building. And um today we got the pup. My puppy Miles, Labrador mixed with Pit. <laughs> Sitting here while I'm recording, looking at me like I'm crazy. But like I said, I'm I'm uh talking about this Mikey Lippinitz fight. For a minute, I told you guys I'll wait till next week to kind of really get into it. It's going down March 10th. It should have been already passed, but Lippinitz had a legit hand injury. I must say legit because so much fishy stuff going on with injuries in the sport of boxing. Some guys say they injured and they want to fire or they may not be on weight and they need to fight push back, so they use that as a reason. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I'm, 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 I'm liking Lippinitz, man, a little bit. A lot of people sleeping on Lippinitz, man. If you like betting money, I think Lippinitz is a real live dog in this fight. I like Buddy McGurk. In his corner. And a lot of people probably going to think I'm crazy, man. But I really think Lippinitz is more than a live dog. Most people think it's a 99.9% chance in Mikey Garcia's favor. And people going too much off the condo fight. I think that condo fight for Lippinitz was an experience. He faced adversity. He got a lot of experience in that one fight. That was like a five or seven fight experience for him. And people said, well, condo ain't nothing. No, he, he faced adversity. He, uh, he, he faced a cut. And he faced a big, strong guy that was legit willing to die uh, die in the ring to get a title. And Lippinitz is, 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 is more than your uh, average European fighter. He kind of fights behind the shoulder. He, he's okay on the defense. He got good speed. He can pop. And he's looking to be moving up to 47 if, you know, a short, you know, after he get done doing what he got to do at 140 pounds, which is not do much. He probably wants to beat Mikey and probably beat another guy, maybe unify the Rancis Bartholomew and the Relic winner. And do that. And I say that because Lippin has got a good trainer in Buddy McGurk. And I'm trying to tell you guys, Mike Garcia is a good fighter. And I really pushed him versus Adrian Broner to let you guys know. A lot of people came on here and said I was crazy that Broner was going to be Mikey Garcia. People was listening to Troy King, who, who somehow vanished into uh, thin air. He evaporated. After that, he might have came on and said some stuff. But, you know, he's gone. He's, just, he's a blip. You know, I think he's still running from Earl Spence Jr. <laughs> people know what I'm talking about, about that situation. But... But yeah, man. Um, you know, I just think that Mikey's moving up too fast. I understand he worked on walked around at one forty, I mean one hundred seventy. You know, before living in his original camp. Um, uh, but he 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 has a questionable chin. He's been down before, and I'm not sure about Mikey's heart, especially with the Orlando Salido situation, where a lot of people threw in my face about the Adrian Broner fight. You know, but you know, I really think Lippin has got a legit shot now. You know, do I expect Lippinitz going there and, and Mikey Garcia hit one one two and destroy him or something like that? No. Lippinitz is going to show you guys something. A lot of you guys is going too much off that condo fight. Winning a world championship, no matter if it's vacant or whatever it may be, should never be easy, and it wasn't easy for him. But I think at 140 pounds, I think Mikey is out of out of his range. Legit, in the, in the Adrian Broner fight, I mean, I thought he should have been able to, be able to do a little bit more and kind of hurt and stop Broner enough. He didn't really hurt Broner in that fight. I think he hit Broner enough for Broner to get on his on his back foot a little bit, you know. But I just got to feel it. Now my feeling, I'm not saying that I'm a pick lipping next, but don't. I mean, he can fight, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. When I first heard about him, look, I said he can fight, he can punch. He's big, and um, he's strong. He's strong. He should be in there stronger than Mikey Garcia in that fight. He punches harder than Mikey Garcia as well at 140. It's another fight for Mikey Garcia to grow into the division. But I just got a feeling, man. I really do. But ultimately, Mikey Garcia should should prevail. But I really do think Team Garcia is overlooking, uh, you know, Lippinitz. Especially Mikey. He's talking about Keith Thurman, Earl Spence. He's talking about Lenares, Lomachenko. And if he gets shocked, because a lot of you guys going to be saying it's the upset of the decade of the century. And to me... It ain't no damn upset. It ain't to me. Lippin is just not a household name because he got 13 fights and uh, he undefeated. He just ain't got a household. He ain't had that opponent to dance with. And originally, it was supposed to be Adrian Broner, but they gave this to Mikey Garcia. I think they gave this fight to Mikey Garcia to entice him to take a fight with Premier Boxing Champions other than go with Golden Boy and fight Jorge Linares. So um, I really do think that's the case. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I know a lot of people going to call me crazy. But I just got a hunch, and this is before I even break down film on these guys. I just got a hunch that Mike can get knocked out in this fight. Yeah, I said it. He can get knocked out, but, you know, it probably won't happen. But it's going to be a dog fight. I think to this point it's going to be a dog fight. I think Lippinish is going to put it all on the line. 
I think he's gonna rack up some rounds on, on Mikey, hurt Mikey a little bit. And um ultimately I think Mikey gonna show people that he got balls, he got heart. The Toledo fight was a blip, you know, where he kind of quit because of the nose. And Toledo was coming on hot. I think that's that's gonna be a blip. And I think he's gonna race it. I think this is the tough fight that Mikey Garcia needs to prevail, you know, to the casual public, like really, really like take him as a serious, serious pound for pound, um, really top contender. And I think, you know, he goes down and beat Lenares or Lomachenko or Robertson Jr. That 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 kind of, you know, strengthens his pound for pound status as well, creeping closer and closer to the top five and perhaps the top three. But we'll see. I'm trying to tell you guys, it's not gonna be no 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 uh no Billy Blank step up. You know, kickbox one, two, roll, and, and we done. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a tough dog fight. Lipping it's going to come to fight. I got a lot of respect for both of these guys, but don't be surprised. It's lifting nets. Lights out. We gone.